Alright, today is a very special episode. We're gonna fix my uh, my drawer. I'd like to say it's my wife's drawer, but both of us will use it. So. Yeah, so basically the uh, the sound it does. This is hard on the ears. Okay. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove power, we're gonna remove the lid. We're gonna change some belt, a belt, and some bearings. Okay. okay let's start. Okay. First thing. Don't want to work on. Uh, we don't want to work on the machine that has 220 volts. Don't kill yourself. This one. This one's special. It's got the uh, water. So we're gonna shut down the water. We'll empty it first. So all I take is a putty knife. It's it's sturdy enough to push the uh, the little bracket. So you push towards the inwards, and then uh, you pry. Uh, pushing down and then up and uh, you'll feel the uh, mechanics uh, just release And there you go, so you do one side and then you need to do the uh, the other side the same thing okay. As soon as that's done the uh, the lid is actually on a, on a set of hinges, so You can just lift it make sure it's Next uh, we move to the uh, the clips they're hard to do, or they're hard to undone, so I use the uh, common f uh, screwdriver to pry it uh, apart. Okay, so these are the uh, two screws with a 516 or a number 8 uh, millimeter to remove, to, so you can remove the whole uh, front. So I use the uh, screwdriver with a socket at the end, 516. Like I said, that eight millimeter will do the same thing. So I do uh, one side, and then I move to the other side, the same location on the opposite. Then, when both screws are removed, uh, just a matter of uh, lifting the uh, front door, and it all comes out, out as an assembly. And just put it. Next, I moved on to the next uh, connector. I still use the common screwdriver, and I just pried it apart. It was quite hard to take it apart. Then I remove the uh, four screws in the front to remove the silver piece. So we're now at uh, removing the uh, the belt. Sorry if the lighting is not that great. The pulley that's there. That's the one we need to. I need to move to remove the belt that's all the way around my tumbler. Okay, so so if I if I move it, that moves there. So that's the one I need to get the belt off of it. After that, I moved uh, those uh, four screws. Uh, those are five sixteen again, or eight millimeter, and uh, they'll let you remove the uh, the whole front casing. After that, you uh, lift the front clip and the tumbler will come loose. It's easy to remove both of them at the same time. With the front clip off, you can actually see how easy it is to remove the tumbler. Uh, you can see where my right hand is. Um, I'm missing my uh, my seal, so that's the part I had to re-glue with. Uh, I use silicone RTV, so high temperature silicone. Once the tumbler is out, uh, take the time to vacuum uh, all the uh, the areas, including the uh, the blower and inside the heater, which is the silver part and the white part. There's a lot of uh, lint that's left in there. To get access to the wheel, I removed the little triangle. I think it's made of Teflon, and I used a common screwdriver. You can use a 
pair of pliers if you want. Then I inspected the shaft. The bearing piece is certified by the company. With the shaft cleaned, I put some fresh uh, lube, uh, grease, a high temperature and high pressure. I've replaced the, all four the same way. So now we're looking at the uh, tensioner. Uh, it has a spring at the bottom and one, uh, one bolt. I used a wrench to do this part. I should have used a uh, ratchet with an extension. I had plenty of room to do so. After removing, uh, loosening it, I removed the uh, spring and it was easy to remove it from there. Pretty straightforward. The tensioner wheel was the main part that uh, broke on my, on my machine. So replacing it, just put the screw back in, uh, tighten it and then uh, add the, uh, the spring back in. Then it's the reverse order to put it back together, making sure that the belt is on. The front seal of my tumbler fell off, so I had to reattach it with high temperature silicone. At this point, the belt is all installed with the front clip. I just wanted to show you how uh, the belt is routed uh, through the uh, belt tensioner. I did have a hard time uh, routing the, uh, the belt in this position. I ended up uh, rem rem <coughs> removing the front clip, lowering the uh, the barrel, feeding the belt, and then reinstalling the front clip. It, it's only four screws, so it's, it is pretty easy to reinstall. The other way you could have done it is uh, either removing the spring and put it later, but there's a uh, minimum access, and the other way is also putting a uh, a cable that you could have pulled uh, and uh, help yourself with the uh, a rope or, or something to remove the tension from the the tensioner. Then I had to finish the uh, assembly. I did the uh, silver ducting that I'm installing right now. The four screws um, that was from the uh, the pump. The, the air to the pump to the front and then uh, the electrical lead there's uh, the one right there by my hand and after that I move to the uh, the front assembly which is has the door on it and there's only uh, two screws holding holding it at the top and just a, uh, a clip at the bottom so a catch Then it was a matter of assembling the top, so I put my uh, screw on each side, so two of them total. The uh, and the uh, electrical lead that led to my uh, the inside light, and that was basically it for the front. And then it was a matter of dropping the, the lid and clipping it in place, and that's it. The uh, power and water. things I've learned uh, while I did the uh, the change of the pulleys and the tensioner and the belt uh, basically is when you do remove it and it's easy the only thing I had problem with is the uh, the belt tensioner um, when I reinstalled the belt and I'll explain the uh, I didn't put the face uh, the white piece in the front the face I simply put the uh, the rolling the drum with the belt around, and I went and I had more room to slide my hands to uh, to put the uh, the belt on the tensioner. 